Hi guys, and you can't see my face. What happened? Ah, uh, no. Yeah, get further. There we go. That's probably a little bit so far as back I can go. Okay, now that my unprofessionalism has uh, surfaced, um, now we can get on to the video. So, what's up? Hi. Anyway. Uh, today I'm gonna show off my haul for the month. Um, some uh, some pretty cool stuff I got over the last uh, month, uh, especially uh, two days ago on the 27th. Mm, it's today. It's like Friday or something. It's Thursday, I think. It's Thursday or Friday? No, it was Friday. So now I'm time chewing gum. Um, Let's see, what do I want first? Well, I guess I'll show them off. I don't know if I've actually shown these in a different haul. I might have. If I didn't, um, then this is the first time you guys are seeing, you know, this in my, one of my haul videos. But if not, um, if I've already showed any of these sets or any of these figures, um, let me know. Uh, but I, I, I can't remember. Um, so, um, first I'll get all the Halo Mega Block stuff out of the way, because i got quite a bit more of those. Um, I did get a um, Halo um, Covenant Combat uh, Pack, uh, not Combat Pack, the Weapons Pack. This is the first one, the one that comes with the red boot. He, uh, he comes with a, um, a, a beam rifle, a plasma turret, two um, painted uh, plasma pistols, and a boot shot. So, here. I'm just standing over there with the rest of them. The rest of my Halo Mega Box thing stuff. And the whole display. But, um, so there's that. Um, and I also got the Covenant Weapons Pack too. So, uh, and it comes with a few other weapons and a Elite Flight. Uh, and it comes with two energy swords, a plasma pistol, a carbine, and a part, and a beam rifle. They're all painted, if you can see. Um, I mean, they're, they are painted, so... I landed right next to the other one. But, uh, in my, my previous um, haul, I did say, I, I think I said I got the ODST Heavy Weapon Specialist, the red ODST that comes with the um, rocket launcher and a uh, SMG. You can see there. Um, so that, well... <laughs> That was, that was cool. Uh, but I did go to Target and they had more of them actually. They had the other ones. So, I grabbed the other two. The Sniper here and the Close Quarters Specialist. Um, but these were in the Easter section and they were uh, half off. So I got them for five bucks each. So, yes. Cool. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So, uh, and I... Uh, Blue one here comes with a assault rifle and a sniper rifle, of course. And the close quarter specialist comes with dual wielding magnums and a uh, shotgun. And they're all painted, so that's cool. I like that. Um, I also picked up a prowler. As you can see, the prowler. Yeah, I'm spinning and flipping them. I want to try to make these a little cool little videos, so it's cool that I got that. I I, I know I don't just don't worry about it. Um, I know on my my last haul I, I got the uh, the wraith. I said I wanted to go get the scorpion, and I did. I got the scorpion. And it's right here, and this it's pretty cool actually. Um, um, I can't I can stop spinning this. Okay, maybe I can. I use the back. And I think it's funny, because this, uh, this I, I just hit myself with it. Um, I think I've already done the review. Uh, I mentioned that this this is 278 pieces for this. Uh, for, and it's the same size and price point as the Wraith, which is 450-something pieces. So, I don't know. I thought that was like, huh. Oh, huh, that's kind of funny. But, anyway. And the biggest one that I got so far, the biggest Halo Mega Block set, is this. The Battlescape. Um, and this is like 40 bucks, but I'm probably just going to get one more. So, 
It's pretty cool. Because there's some exclusive guys right there. And, um, just, it's really cool. I'm glad they made these so no, I can get a couple of them. I know I want at least one more, but I, I don't know. We'll see how, uh, if they ever on sale or anything, I might pick up a few more. That, so I have like maybe four or five or six, probably six. I don't want to have five. Four, yes. Five, eh, six, okay. But, you know, I want an even number. I did get a, some uh, new Lego stuff. Um, this is the, um, what is it called? The uh, Lego Kingdom's Outpost Attack here. Which is pretty cool. I like it. It's a nice little tower with a cool little catapult. Um, see the back there. Um, but I, I basically got that because I wanted um, this set down here that I have here, this one right here, to go with it. And this is the one Lego Kingdom set that I've wanted the most is the the Prison Terror Rescue right here. And it's a pretty pretty cool and awesome set. Um, I actually don't have it built at the moment. I did build it, but I took it apart the other day. And I'm probably going to just build something different with it. I don't know. Board. I don't have cable. I mean, I, uh, I don't work till Tuesday, so maybe I will. I'll break out the Legos, you know. But, um, I like this is a big box. I mean, for, for a Lego box, this is a good-sized box. Um, and you can see the picture of the set here. And it's really cool. I really like it. I mean, that's just like 50 bucks, so that's, that's the most expensive thing that I have right now. Most of the stuff I get is 40 bucks. Um, the x wing since I got that on sale, was 40 It actually is 60 so that should be the most expensive, but that's 50 I think that's, some, yeah, that's the most expensive uh, thing that I have that I spent on one thing, but, yeah, the battery's game low, so. Um, I did, uh, I... Remember how I had that Shockwave review? Well, I don't have Shockwave or Crankcase anymore. I traded them. I traded in Shockwave for my friend for this figure here that's a little bit older that I've been wanting for a very long time. Alternative smoke screen. And this is the uh, this is the original too. Expect a review. I, I will review this figure. This is one of my favorite figures. I've always wanted it, so I thought that was worth it. And uh, I still see Shockwave everywhere here, so uh, I'm, he's not going to be that hard to find. He's brand new. Uh, crane case is the same. Um, but um, I also did get a uh, some more Marvel Universe stuff. I got the two pack with Doctor Doom and Absorbing Man here, and that come with a little wasp. Um, you can see her right there. She's pretty tiny, and she fell and died. Uh, so I got them. They're cool. And, uh, I, I also picked up a Mystique, too. Which, I don't usually buy female characters, but I make an exception for Princess Leia, Mystique, and, uh, select few others I can't remember. It's not that I don't like having female action figures, it's just, it, it feels a little weird for me to, like, you know, I, I, I I'm sure this is gonna sound very weird and strange, but it's kind of weird for me to, like, you know, touch the figure, because it's a female... I'm sitting here moving the joints and like caressing her plastic parts, and it's just, it's it's just weird to me. But I mean, it's okay. It's just you know, you know, there's some females that need to be on my shelf. So, um, you know, but um, I also also did finally pick up a skull grin. Uh, I don't know if I said that before, but here I got I I finally got a skull grin. I, holding off on him because uh, he, he's a shell former right now here so and I'm sure everywhere else so um, as far as Dark of the Moon goes I did pick up Cyberverse Blackout which is my favorite because I love Blackout he's one like my one of my favorite characters so Blackout uh, I love playing him as in the game I you know there's, I don't think there's a version of his figure that I don't like I even I love the Voyager one for some reason people don't like it but uh, I did get a crane case. Oh, not a crane case. This is a crowbar, the Legion or Legends class crowbar, and I didn't get one. I got two. I will get another one too, so I'll have three. Uh, one, one could be crowbar, and the other two could be his dreads. 
so that'll be cool. All right, I did pick up a Cyberverse Power Glide right here. Pretty cool. I uh, basically just have them for my G1 shelf, but cool. Oh, nice little Power Glide, and I did pick up a Voyager. Um, Oct uh, not Oct. <laughs> it's a semi truck. I'm confused. It's a uh, Voyager class Megatron here from Dark of the Moon. Put him back over there. Hand. Ah. But uh, no, the probably the most uh, the the greatest find I saved for last. That was when I walked into Walmart on Friday, not expecting anything new. I went in there, uh, probably just to get Shockwave and Crankcase back, and I and I picked them up, and I'm like, okay, I got them. Um, like like here's me looking at you. Here's the uh, the Dark of the Moon stuff, and Generations is just three pegs here, right? I see this at the front of the pegs. Thundercracker! So I immediately put the other ones back and started rummaging through the rest of them trying to find War Warpath and Wheeljack. And I didn't find them on the pegs. And I was like, damn it, well, at least I got Thundercracker. So I started walking off and I went and tricked around the rest of the uh, Transformers. Uh, or not the, just the rest of the toy section. I checked the whole toy section, like I always do, to see if anyone hit anything. and. Well, someone did. I found two, uh, two wheel jacks and two war paths. So I, of course, had to pick up one of each. Yeah. Find them at retail. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just, I'm just really happy. I found, finally found those. I didn't, never knew I was gonna find them. Uh, and I did find a scourging cup, and I put the the rest of them back on the peg so my other collectors could find them. Damn scalpers, scalping and putting and trying to hide stuff in the clearance section. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, and yeah, I can't, and yeah, tr these are already open. I did lose Warpath's missile because I shot it across the room, but yay. Mini bots. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to stay tuned for my next haul. And, um, oh, yeah, I don't know if this does anything, but Watermelon... Bubble yum. That's what I'm chewing right now. This is, mm, this is the best watermelon flavored gum. I think Trident's pretty good too, but mmm, gum. Anyway, that's enough. About enough to say here. I pretty much uh, got everything I wanted to cover. So uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned because I have a whole bunch of stuff I gotta review now. So I'm gonna go over here and turn off the camera and get started. Hang loose, guys. Peace.